topics about the fire you guys is that okay with you guys? Like, okay, we'll be super like all yeah. <laughs> but this one like we'll talk about it. Okay, cool. Mary, honestly if you wanna get a shot just like from above a little bit so you want to talk to Cool, so we're just gonna chat with y'all. Um Are we are we good? Yeah, okay. So can you guys just tell me your names? And just talk as loud as you can because it is loud. Just like, oh, tell me your name. Say your name. No, she wants to interview you. No, no, all you guys. Oh, we're just, just talking. Oh, okay. We're all just My name's Faith. Okay. I'm Rachel. I'm Ezra. I'm Jacob. Jacob, awesome. Um, what grades do you guys all in? Or how old are you? We're all seniors. So everyone here is a senior? Yeah. Okay, awesome. We're seniors too. Cool. Um, so what are your... Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect me to answer all the questions. So are you guys all involved either with the football team or cheerleaders? Or I cheer. Yeah. 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 Okay, nice, nice. Uh, are we oh, still a could you guys tell me like are you cheerleader or a football player? No, we're athletic. Football. Oh, okay, awesome. I'm not even supposed to be here. No, shut up. Now we are. Yes, we are. I'm confused on why you guys Okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Can you guys tell? Have you all lived in paradise pretty much your whole life? Yeah. yeah. I moved there like five years ago. I moved there when I was. Not even all the trailers. Okay. So it's pretty much what you guys remember. Um. And have you guys lived in pretty much the same houses most of your life? Would you say? Yeah. Same house. Same house. Same house. And do you guys have any animals or pets at all? I have a dog and a cat. A dog and a cat? Are they alive? Yeah. Great. Yeah. What about you guys? I have two dogs. I have two dogs and a cat. Um, so, Paradise High, um, I mean, could you just tell me a little bit about the environment of Paradise High and just about, I don't know, what your classes are like, what a, just a day in school is like? I mean, it's a pretty small school, so you kind of get to know everyone, which is nice, I guess, and so you have a lot of friends and, like, you become, like, a family, I guess. The environment is, like, pretty cool. It's just, like, such a community, and, like, football games bring us like together, the student section is insane. I kind of feel sick for a The support we have and like the pride we have for our school is pretty insane. Well, that's awesome. Do you think that pride's really gonna um, like be strengthened through this situation? You think? I think oh, yeah. we were brought together like really strongly through this. So. So, I mean, if you guys feel comfortable, can you tell me a little bit about the day I kind of waking up and just. Thursday. Um, like, what were you doing in the morning? I drove to school. I heard my road was being evacuated. I drove home. I was the only one. Like, my parents weren't in town or anything. Um, I was only able to grab my dog. And as I was leaving, the house next to mine started like lit on fire. And then they cut off all the cell towers so nobody could get a hold of anybody. And so my call dropped with my dad, and I didn't know where it was for four hours. Were you able to reconnect with him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, for me, I never went to school. I just stayed home all day. And it just started off kind of like a weird cloud in the sky. I wasn't sure if it was just like the weather or something, so I didn't think much of it. And then it just like went super quick and all of a sudden there were ashes falling from the sky and the entire sky was just gray. And then we basically had like five minutes to just run around and grab things and I didn't even know what to grab. And then we got out. Luckily my family was able to get out before all the traffic so we didn't hit much of that. But it just all happened really quickly. That dude was never so Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, so you mentioned that you um, got out before the traffic. Do you know people who are stuck in the traffic? And oh yeah, Faith was. Oh. I was on the phone with her and it dropped, and then I didn't talk to her for another two hours or so. Okay. So that was scary. Yeah. yeah. It was like sweet. Like I got stuck in the same spot for a good like 35 minutes, and from the time that I like moved my car like maybe three or four inches, like not even feet, inches. You've had some really the, the mobile home, the mobile home 
front next to me in one of the videos, and the fire had jumped over my car and started lighting houses on the other side of the road. Wow. I'd say Brian's important. I'd say Brian's important. You guys, how long, just out of curiosity, have you had your license? I've had mine for a little over a year. Uh, I've had mine for like six eight months. I, I, I mean, can you imagine what would happen if you guys didn't have your driver's license? Yeah, I would have been stuck at the high school. And we couldn't have gotten I should have it. What about what about you guys? Did you excuse me? Hi. Oh, you're good. Um, could you just tell me? You guys have lived in paradise most of your life. Will you move? Yeah. Um, if you guys feel comfortable, could you talk about? Um, Thursday and just kind of what, what happens and waking up and just walk us through your day. You guys can talk together, you can do whatever. Well, I woke up, normal routine, same thing every day. I went outside, it was really gloomy. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't think much of it. I told my brother, <laughs> I told my brother, let's go. And I was driving and I could just see smoke. And the next thing I know, my dad called me. He's like, "Don't even go to school. Just turn around and go home. So get your mom ready." So my mom like sleep in till like one. So she wasn't up. So that we got everything ready. We sat around for a long time. And once as soon as we got the evacuation order, we went up and we like had to like four wheel get out because all the roads are clogged up. And that's about that's basically it. We got, well, we got trapped. Bye. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Okay, so on the back of uh, Old Skyway and there's like a fire at the cemetery, I guess, like that house. So we went back down and went through the other way and there's a fire. We had to like stop and turn around, but there's also a fire behind us. So we had to stay there for a little bit and we just drove right through the smoke. Uh, well, he, he texted me and he said he was going to die. <laughs> no, I did. Yeah, he did. Cesar did that. Was that Cesar? Yeah. He was in your car? No. I don't know. I don't know. Got you. That's, that's the point. Um, so you guys with, I mean, with this game, are you guys 49ers fans? Or are you excited to go to the game, you say? I would say I'm excited to go. I'm not a Niner fan. Yeah. <laughs> what What are you a fan? Who are you a fan of? Uh, me. I'm Minnesota Vikings. This guy right here. He's a New York Jets fan. Uh, what about you guys? Are you? Uh, I like the 49ers. They don't even watch. Yeah. I hope I'll never watch it. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about or say or anything? No. Okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you.